today I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this super cute star stitch dishcloth. It looks a little intimidating, but I promise it is super easy, so let's get started. Okay, so for this video I used Sugar and Cream Yarn by Lily. I really just love the color of this yarn. I think it's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of a mermaid. So that's why I really like it, and it's 100% cotton, so it's perfect for a dishcloth. Um... So yeah, it's just Sugar and Cream by Lily. You can pick it up at any craft store. I got this one at AC Moore. And next you're going to need some sort of crochet hook. I am using a 5mm aluminum hook that I just got off Amazon. It was super cheap and I'm just using this 5mm because that's what my yarn says to you. So just make sure you use whatever your yarn says just to make sure that it's the perfect size. And then lastly, all you're going to need are some scissors. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that you're going to do is take your yarn and create a slip knot just like you'd start any other project. And then just place it on your hook and what we're going to do is start with our chain. And so for this dishcloth, for this star stitch, you have to do everything in twos so you can make your chain as long as you want it to be. Just make sure that you're ending it on an even number so I'm going to chain 30 for the size that I want but if you want yours a little larger or a little smaller you can chain as many as you want but you know just make sure that you're ending on an even number so once you have your chain done we're gonna start by making a row of star stitches so to do this you're gonna place your hook in the second chain from the hook so you're going to count one two you're going to put your hook through the chain, yarn over, and pull back through. And then you're going to go into the next chain on your chain and yarn over, pull through. And then again in the next chain. Then you're going to have four loops on your hook. So then you're going to go in the next chain and yarn over, pull through. So now you should have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook. And you're just going to yarn over and pull through all five of the loops so that is to start your star stitch and then to finish it off what you're going to do is yarn over and pull through to make one more chain now to make your next star you're going to go back into the chain that you just created this is the eye of the star and you're going to yarn over and pull through and then you're going to go into the first chain that your star is already connected to so the last chain that your star is connected to will be the next chain of your second star so you're going to go into it yarn over pull through into the next chain yarn over pull through and then into one more chain yarn over and pull through and again you should have five loops on your hook and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all five again and then make one chain at the end to finish the stitch and I'm going to show you one more time so we go into the eye yarn over pull through into the last chain yarn over pull through into the next chain yarn over pull through and into the chain after that and yarn over and pull through then yarn over pull through all five loops and make one chain at the end to finish the stitch so then you just continue this pattern all throughout the rest of the row and meet me back when you're done. Okay, so if you did your stitches correctly, when you got to the end of your row, you should have one chain left so what we're going to do here is we're going to place a half double crochet in the last chain and then what we're going to do is chain two so at the end of every star stitch row you chain two and then we're going to flip our work over and for this next row, we're going to put two half double crochets in each of the eyes of our stars. So this is the eye of the star. You can kind of see all of the other chains are connected to it. Um, so you're going to go ahead and yarn over, go through, yarn over and pull through all of those to create the half double crochet. If I can get it through. And then you're going to go back into that eye and put another one. 
and then you're going to go into the next eye. You can see that there. So you're skipping over the chain in the middle and going into only the eyes and putting two half double crochets in every one all the way down the row. So you can go ahead and do that. So if you flip it over here, you can really see what we're doing. So you can see we're creating the top half of the stars. So before the stitches, we're creating the bottom half of the stars, which is this bottom row here. And then the half double crochets are finishing off the top and really giving it that full star shape. Okay, so once you reach your last eye, you're going to have one more chain left. So what you're going to do is place one single crochet on the last chain in this row. So now after we finish the star stitches, we chain two, but after we finish the half double crochets, we're going to chain three. So I'm going to go ahead and chain one, two, and three. And I'm going to turn my work around and now I'm going to show you how we're going to start our star stitches again after our half double crochet row. So what you're going to do is go into the second chain from your hook and then you're going to go into the next chain yarn over pull through and then you're going to go into the top of the half double crochets and you're going to yarn over pull through and then one more because you now have four on your hook so you're going to go into the next chain yarn over and pull through. Then you're going to yarn over, pull through all five, and then finish with chain one to finish the star. So now just like the first row to do your next star stitch, you're going to go into the eye, yarn over, pull through, and then go right into the last chain that your stitch is connected to, yarn over, pull through, go into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, and into one more chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all five loops, and then create one more chain to finish the stitch. And then you're just going to keep doing that for the rest of your row till you get to the end. Okay, so now once you finish this row you can really see the stars are starting to look really cool and I just absolutely love this stitch but what you want to do is just make sure that all of your stars are lined up just make sure you have the same amount so just go down the row and count and just make sure that you have the same amount of stars in the first row that you do on the second. So if you end up with the wrong number of stars, it's probably because you changed the wrong number at the beginning. So just take it apart, honestly, and just keep going because if you continue with the wrong number of stars, your project is going to go all wonky, it's going to get on an angle, and it's just not going to look right. So then just like how we finished our first star stitch row with a half double crochet, we need to do the same thing here so you can see that... We do have another space left so you just put one half double crochet in your next chain and this will finish your row and just make sure that everything is perfectly straight at the end. So as you're working on this project you just want to give the corners a couple little tugs just to make sure everything is perfectly lined up. You just want to straighten everything out. Um, so at this point you know how to finish all of these rows so just remember at the end of your star stitch rows you chain two and at the end of your half double crochet rows you chain three. So just go ahead and continue working on your project until you have as many rows as you want for it to be finished. 
So I just finished mine and this is what mine looks like. I really think that the self-striping yarn looks really cute with this project. So because the edges are a little wiggly like this just because of how the stitch is, I really love going through and putting a border around these. I think it makes the project have a really nice finished look to it and it looks really good. So what we're going to do is just continue crocheting around the whole border and I'm going to show you how to do that now so you don't have to detach your yarn at all. Just leave your yarn attached when you get to the end of your last row. So then to make the border, I'm just going to crochet all the way around the edges and I'm going to do this two times and I'm going to show you what to do when you get to the corners. So to start, I'm just going to chain one just to help to make the corner have a nice triangular look to it. What you're going to do is just go into every stitch and put a single crochet. So the single crochet will help the border to stand out because you don't have any single crochets in the project. The project is all half double crochets and star stitches. So you're really going to see the border when you're done with this. So just go all the way down the line putting single crochets in. So when you get to the end of your top row and you've put your single crochet in the last stitch, you're going to chain one and then turn your project. So now you're going to go down the side and the sides are a little bit harder because they don't have as defined stitches. So you just kind of have to put your crochet hook in wherever you feel fit. Um, you know, find as many stitches as you can, but try and make it evenly spaced throughout. And then you're just going to put more single crochets in and go all the way down this row. So now when you get to the end of this side, you're going to do the same thing. You're just going to chain one and you're going to turn your work and continue single crocheting all the way down the next side. Um, so this side has the little tail end of my yarn from my beginning slip knot. So I'm just going to pick that up and help to weave that in as I go down this row as well. So then same thing for this corner, just chain one and turn it and then put your hook in wherever you can find a stitch and just continue putting your single crochets all the way around. So now when you get to the end of this side, you can either finish your border here or you can keep going. I really like the way that it looks with two rows of border. So I'm going to continue going, but you can always just slip stitch to your first stitch and tie your project off if this is how you like it. Um, I'm also just going to go ahead and give my project a little tug just to make sure that it's a perfect square. And so to continue making the border, I'm going to chain one again and just continue going down my row so just put my single crochets back on the first side um this row is a little easier because you have the single crochets to go into on the sides of your project and you're not just kind of sticking your hook wherever it fits so the second border is easier and just remember when you get to the corners to chain one and then turn and it'll just really help make your corners have a nice pointed look to them and then just meet me back when you get all the way around. To finish this border, all you're going to do is slip stitch to the next stitch and then you're going to tie your project off, cut the string, um, weave in the ends, and there you have it. This is your finished dishcloth, so if you want, you can put some little embroidery things on here, maybe a cute little quote or something. Uh, it really makes it really cute dishcloth. Um, I might go do that after I'm done, but here's the finished product. I think it's super cute, and I hope you enjoyed this video.